Welcome back everybody to another episode of The Movie Social. I am your host, Ricky. In today's episode, we're going to talk about episode 4 of season 3 for The Shy. And before we get into that, don't forget if you like the channel to uh, give us a thumbs up and uh, subscribe. Don't forget to let us know what you guys thought about this episode in the comments below. And also turn on those post notifications. And so, episode four starts off with uh, Keisha's now stepmother. I mean, I guess you want to say stepmother, it, depending on uh, whether or not she wants to be called that or not. But yeah, having a dream about what we later find out is actually true, partially, of her uh, and, and Keisha's altercation at one point in the house we've come to find out that she has a back tattoo and this is all before the marriage and disappearance and so part of the episode really centers around the whole disappearance of Keisha still which to me I think is going to be the main premise for the whole entire season who knows what will they find Keisha before the season is over do they find her this episode gotta find out so, as the episode progresses, we learn more about things with Emmett and Tiff, their uh, lack of sex in their relationship, Emmett uh, seeking advice from his father. Yeah, that never plays well when your dad has seven kids from five different women. And is on his way to another divorce. Yeah. That would never play well. In this episode, we didn't actually see any of uh, Lala's character at all. Which, in a way, never know. Could be good, could be bad. Gotta wait to see how that plays out as well. Emmett's uh, uh, food business didn't really uh, get talked about too much in this episode nothing really happened with that in this episode they kind of condensed it down to just a few of the main characters this one which in a way I think is a is kind of good because you don't have to deal with a whole lot of this person that person and back and forth and where it can get confusing for some we didn't see uh, Jake's older brother at all in this one which I'm a little surprised because I thought they would have been trying to push that one a bit more. But we did get to see the fact that Duda has a wife or possibly maybe not a real wife but maybe paid wife. You never know. I mean it, there is some form of chemistry there where we can see that they may have been a thing in the past. But going in separate ways still never fought for divorce. But it plays into his campaign very well. We got to see a little bit more of the side of Duda of why he really wanted to adopt Jake. At least that's the front he's putting on at this moment. We don't know. And we also got to look into a little bit further into the Keisha kidnapping situation where they follow a lead finally. Hoping to find some closure. Turns out they do find a female body at the beach. Just looks similar to Keisha's, but turns out it wasn't hers. Thankfully, that they found, figured out that about the tattoo wasn't a tattoo on her back, not Keisha. So uh, yeah, this episode wasn't like the first three episodes it was a lot less condensed and a little bit more of a building back building more of a backstory into this season hopefully we did however get to see uh, uh, the opposing candidate here we have to wait to see how that plays out then we we do see uh, paying off some money to the church Possibly for the votes. Don't know. Gotta wait to see what that was all about. But this season, uh, 
it's shaping out to be an okay season. Granted, a lot of people are upset about how the fact that so many characters either were killed off or are no longer on the show this season. I mean, it happens with almost every team, single TV series, almost. So, you gotta just keep going with it. Now, yes, the time issue is still a factor to me. We still don't know what happened with the whole uh, case with Duda, all that. How did it go from him poss possibly being uh, charged with a lot of uh, crimes, including murder, to now running for mayor? How much time has passed in there? Are we gonna get that backstory, or are we not? That's one of the main things I think we need answered about the show is that time gap. What happened on that gap? Now they do little flashbacks per se, but it's not enough at this moment. When we're episode four, you would have thought by now some more would have came about, but who knows? Maybe we'll find out later on down the line. But overall, this episode was okay. It was more mellow. I enjoyed it though. What did you guys think about it? Thanks for watching. Till next time.